hi to Chaco. As you guys probably have already noticed, noticed, the game is up here between Moon and WFZ. We have WFZ here in the bottom left on Amazonia in the blue. And we have Moon here on the top right in the purple. Still on Amazonia. Let's see, we're building second moon wall over here. Building some wisps. And he starts creeping here with his archer with lightning shield. Perfect positioning. The lightning shield hitting all three of the units. As expected. There's Mr. Demon Hunter. He's gonna kill some of these. Pick up the tome. Maybe. Pick, okay, maybe first kill this guy, then pick up both the items, the tome and the item. I mean, picking up the tome fast isn't that important because it's just a tome of strength. It doesn't actually add any DPS in this case. He gets a gloss of haste. That's pretty nice though. Uh, is it nice? No, it's not that nice. Not that nice against him that. Cloak of Shadows maybe might be useful. Let's see what the item uh, the Death Knight gets over here. Tome of Intelligence and also Cloak of Shadows. Maybe nice again. The Cloak, sometimes you can get a bit of use of it. Like trying to hide from the Demon Hunter or maybe the Demon Hunter setting up uh, a trap. Mana Burn trap. Not sure who got that last one by the way. Wasn't paying, uh, should have paid a bit more attention to that. We have Hellborn here for uh, for the Demon Hunter. And the Death Knight, Lord Solander. That's that's a pretty uh, awesome Lord there. He's building second Sigurat. And. Oh. And there's a frog over here. Is he actually gonna get this item? He's trying to get the rope. He wants more slippers of agility. Uh, or maybe, well, if it's a matter of intelligence, of course you want to steal it from your opponent. It's way too good on the lich. And he's going for it again. Oh, there's of course no coil. Oh, of course, no coil. So the death knight cannot steal the, the creep. Not very easily, at least. He has to use his sword instead of his coil. Oh, this is cool. Dude, does he have boots? No boots. The ghoul gets away safely. Death Knight now taking damage. Skeleton, skeleton goes down. Graveyard's going up. Can he get this rogue? It's all this. This entire game is all about this one rogue. Didn't know this was such a key unit on this map. But Moon knew. Oh, Moon uh, knows. Oh, uh, the Death Knight got the. I uh, got the item at the very least. Did he get XP? I think he got XP as well. And now it's level two. Even under two hundred ninety-eight XP. So. And Death Knight 2 and 4. He has level 2 now. And the Mantle of Intelligence is going to be so great for the Lich later. We have more ghouls. We have uh, Hoss of the Dead. Almost done. Tree of Ages a bit behind. Hunter's Hall is being built. Nothing strange is going on. Both are just playing standard. We have 4 archers so far. Is he building more? 4 archers is this. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, five archers? No, is this no, four archers? It's, uh, they, uh, keeping guard over here. Of course, during night, archers are pretty sneaky. Got a house going up. Oh, the archer attacking! Archer attack. And one archer attack is pretty scary. Naga's out. Okay, Moon is, by the way, playing Naga. So I don't know Moon as much, of course, as some of the other Night of players. Mostly because if you don't see him play as much, he often plays on smurf accounts or plays on, on different times than I'm casting. So we don't see him that much playing ladder. So I'm interested in how he plays his matchup. I didn't see, uh, of course, he plays in tournaments now and then, but I don't think I've, I've seen many of those games. Maybe you guys have. Usually they're too early or usually I'm casting something else myself, so... I haven't seen much Moon games, so I'm pretty uh, glad that I was I was able to watch WZ against Moon. That was my favorite match uh, of this playoffs, Moon versus WZ, the match I wanted to see. Even on the creep over here, let's see what item he gets. He already has a wand of mana stealing, he gets a po replenishment potion. Eh, might be useful. I mean, for Night Elf, of course. It's... it could be useful. 
He's getting the double Angel of Lore. His expansion, by the way, very early. Interesting, like I would expect with a Naga. I don't understand uh, why other players don't get that expansion early when they go Naga. But Moon does. Moon gets that expansion early. Naga just gives you a lot of pressure early. Uh, or if you don't pressure, like right now, he, he doesn't really, he can't really pressure because WFC is just in his base. But if you can't pressure, you can use that uh, that advantage. With army advantage, uh, I mean to build expansion, yeah, to creep as well. Uh, but I, what I was trying to say is, you can build an expansion and can defend it, and it probably will be up before any frost rooms uh, come out. Not a WZ ghost frost rooms, but any uh, scary tier three push cancel your expansion. Another mine burn on the death knight. Death Knight pretty low, uh, Lich very low, another mana burn would be nice, he has that uh, replenishment potion, spells the uh, wand of course, can you do one more, uh, one more mana burn or is that too risky, okay he first uses the replenishment potion, as I've uh, said so many times, this mana burn harass is like the key to winning this matchup, the more mana burns you get off, the better position you are in, Cool frenzy. Uh, destroyers. And what do we have here? The expansion is up, or at least uh, the tree is up. I think gold, gold mine, not yet. We see more dryads. He, he keeps at three of ages. Smash dryads. And there's a Naga third here for WZ. Big Death Knight here very good because uh, he will get mana burned. <laughs> and the real Death Knight is very far behind. Oh, but now he sees both Death Knights. Oh, but he mana burns the fake one. That was a nice uh, Foss Nova. And these, these Wisps. Okay, well, I said the expansion would be up in time. Was I correct? Oh, just barely I was wrong. Three <laughs> Wisps to die. Oh, wow, I was so wrong there. It was just barely not in time. But uh, we have this right here, the illusion gets dispelled, I believe. We have a bunch of ghouls uh, against Dryad, so, but the archers are easy pickings. One archer does go down. We only have three archers left. The demon are being uh, hunted down a little bit, but he will come back for no more mana burns. This one Dryad is Maiko, the demon are again. Walking in, walking out. Where's that mana burn? Did he mana burn? No, he didn't. I don't understand why he didn't mana burn. He got, could have gotten coiled there, and uh, well, he would have been dead actually. The archer would have. Uh, the archer went down. There goes another dryad. And we have an ancient of war defense here. Dryad's going for the lich. Uh, okay, demon hunter back with full hit points. More dryads, of course, because he didn't go bears. And uh, well, we have six strides here, trying to. Uh, the lich is just too much damage. What was that? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Two chain line, uh, fork linings at exactly the same time. That was absolutely beautiful. Never seen something so pretty. Like that's more beautiful than any uh, firework I have ever seen. That archer went down. This uh, these two ghouls are pretty low. He will kill one. He will kill two. The uh, Naga being Michael died. She's level three now. She'll probably get level two fork lightning. This uh, dried goes down this tree. Should have eaten a tree somewhere. Oh, what is this dry doing? No, Moon, don't give away your dries for free. The Ace of War goes down as well. We have uh, 47 against 46 supply. Can Moon defend his base? A town is under siege. Are under Maybe you should have built more Ace of Wars while you had the time there. Over here. So you could walk them over. Did Moon prepare upgrade? What, uh, what upgrade? There's a coil on the demon hunter. We have abomination. I mean, he's not going to tree of eternity if that's what you're asking. You mean on the drives attack defense upgrades? There's zero zero still. Oh, this tree of life is so dead. This tree of life is dead. Maybe this is why people don't go Naga expansion. I was wondering. <laughs> Show a uh, moon shows me. Yeah, no, uh, no upgrades on the Dryads. And uh, he's not getting any. I 
And now WZ just they're just going for his base. The Angel of Wonders is going to fall. It's going to be difficult to defend with just Triads. But I think if you went Bears, the Bears would have been too late, no? Moonwall going down. There's the Moonwall. Let's see if he can defend his main base. He couldn't defend his expansion. I doubt he can defend his main base now that he's 8 supply behind. Uh, this, this Dryad is back without. She does survive. We have an Info Potion there on the Demon Hunter. Just using it to mana burn all the heroes. Just moving in. Death Knight is out of mana. Lich is out of mana. Naga does still have plenty of mana though. Uh, this Abomination is... Is he alive? He's, he is alive. But uh, the Demon Hunter, is he alive? He's also alive. He got for Lightning. That Fiend went down. This Dryad goes down as well. This uh, Fiend might be... Might fall. The Demon Hunter! TP. No staff. Okay. Ooh, we stopped him at like uh, 11 hit points or maybe even less maybe like eight or nine hit points this naga well remember there's no more shop naga is alive still this uh, fiend and this, this abomination might be sniped oh naga went down sorry i missed that the abomination is still up and there it is gg hopefully their heroes just came out yeah 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 okay we didn't miss anything uh, uh moon starts moon has a warden warden first here for moon he's creeping over here got the rune bracers and mm, yeah, he's still tier one. That's uh, three moon wells. Three. I mean, moon's wells. Are they called moon moon wells, or should I just call them wells? Wait, what? <laughs> three, three moon moon wells. I guess moon moon wells makes sense because tree of life of life. Like when we watch life, we call the tree of life of life. Uh, so when we watch moon, we should say moon's moon wells. Anyway, we have uh, Rune Bracers, which is really good actually against the dead, now that I think about it. On the Warden, yeah, how are you gonna lose with the Warden? Well, sometimes you get nuked and you die. Or, well, your Warden dies and you lose the game. Uh, Mount of Intelligence, perfect. Although, is it perfect? Like, it feels almost like you don't want any of the items with the Warden. Like, uh, like besides the Rune Bracers, you're gonna keep that, but... Oftentimes, I see Night Elf players, even if they get mana items, they sell it. If they get damage items, they sell it. If they get hit point items, they sell it. It's like they don't need anything. They just get, they only use bot items. But I still think that the mana items are probably the best ones. We'll see if Moon agrees. For now, he keeps the Mantle of Intelligence. This Archer, can he kill the Archer? We have a detonate here. The Archer will, will survive. No, it doesn't even need to detonate. He was just uh, moved to the Whisper if he needed that detonate. But in the end, he didn't need the detonate. By the way, the Angel of War is still alive. Okay. Oh, here come the ghouls. Seven ghouls. And another one means eight ghouls. And a Death Knight is not a ghoul, but if he was a ghoul, he had nine ghouls here. Oh, there's a nice uh, Shadow Strike on this one uh, ghoul. He might go Fan of Life's uh, second, by the way. Unless he gets surrounded here, and then he will take Blink. He has high, uh, Cloak of Shadows as well. Oh, no, Cloak of Shadows. Hide as well, of course. They just moved up. I don't know why, but... Anyway, this, uh, this ghoul is going down as well. There's two ghouls dead. No archers die yet. Archers are like impossible to kill, man, with ghouls. There goes another wisp. Maybe they should nerf archers. Maybe make them less hit points. They're too hard to kill with ghouls. Maybe make them like 120 hit points. This uh, skeleton. Oh, he's trying to kill. No oh, wait. The wisp gets out safely. The warden is still alive as well. Uh, but this r uh, rush. It's not really a rush, but... This attack has been hauled off here. Uh, well, they can be WFG's <laughs> Moonwells. Unless he possesses a Wisp, I guess. True. So I guess there's no ambigu um, ambiguity. Is that ambiguous? Amb um, ambiguity. 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 At least there's no ambiguity if I just say Moonwells. But. But, you know, what if I get used to just saying moon walls and then we see moon in a night of mirror and then I don't say moon moon walls and people will get uh, confused. Whose moon walls am I talking about? Or are all moon walls just moon's wells? That's maybe it. Maybe these are just wells and they're just all owned by moon no matter who is playing. That's why they're called Moon Wells. The Hunter's Hall, by the way, is going up. The Tree of Life is going up. The, the Death Knight, I didn't talk about it, but you guys could see it on the screen. Had to buy his staff to get out of there safely. Uh, 
Uh, hello there, Michael the Boom Bringer. Welcome back. Archers were nerfed from 260 to 240 and then boosted to 245. I, uh, I didn't know, or maybe I did know at some point, that I forgot uh, that they had 260 hit points at some point. Did know they were buffed, of course, from uh, 240 to 245. That makes sense? Okay, nice. For the first time today, I'm making sense. Came over here, another mantle of intelligence. Gonna keep it. What do we have here over here, by the way? We have a lich, we have fiends, we have a slaughterhouse, we have uh, no black citadel just yet. The ghouls are just chopping the wood. And the warden is, I don't know, walking around. Death Knight is still level 2. He also has one mantle of intelligence, it's nice for the lich. He's just waiting for the lich. Is he defending his base? We have level 1 fan of knives, level 2 shadow strike. When did he pick that fan of knives? Did he use it yet? I don't think so, right? Why did he pick Fan of Knives? Does he just always pick Fan of Knives at this point? Is that why? I, I don't know. I think you... Uh... Yeah, maybe he scouted something. Maybe he was like, okay. We still see House of the Dead. He's gonna do some weird attack. I need Fan of Knives to defend this uh, expansion. So he just picked it in uh, in advance, but he's not level four yet. He just needs ten more XP. Of course, he can get that ten XP very easily with one shadow strike. She has three hundred seventy-five mana. Was this an APAP and an angel of war? He plants it down over here. Um, I wonder about that choice. I guess uh, we'll see here. Uh. Of course, an uh, rooted AP uh, Ace of War is much easier to uh, walk past than an uprooted one. He can move himself. Uh, one archer almost went down to the first Nova, but she does survive. But the uh, rooted Ace of War, of course, much harder to kill. Oh, can he get there? No, cannot. Oh, there goes one archer to the first Nova. Second one almost dying as well. We do have a. Uh, Another Fos Nova was used there, so only one Fos Nova left. These archers are running for their lives. This uh, Warden fighting against a Death Knight. Death Knight has a healing potion and a mana potion. Well, the Tree of Life is falling as well. One more archer dying there. We don't even have the orb. And there is a level 2 Fan of Knives. And all this cool solo on hit points. We don't have mana. Uh, we don't have uh, healing scrolls here. And no statues either. Oh, he dispelled all the blight, but he did get one Sigurd off. This is looking so weird. Look at that. But now the blight is back because that Ziggurat just uh, got up. Oh, oh, those three ghouls uh, dead there in one fan of nice. What is that? A triple kill, 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 kill. The warden still has plenty of mana because of those two mantles of intelligence. And we have a shredder. The shredder will shred apart all those ghouls. And WFC just realizes his push is not going to work. He GG's out. Game three up. So if Z against Moon is it close position? No, it's cross position. Is there anything else going on? We have a Demon Hunter. No Warden. Moon did win with the Demon Hunter. That was nice. Don't miss the start of the game, please. <laughs> okay. Well, I missed the turtles dying. Oh, we have a nice Slippers of Agility here for the Demon Hunter. It's such a nice item. This Demon Hunter is going to be so strong now. This is insane. He's going to kill everything. This game is already... Uh, well, it's not over just yet. Because let's see what item the Death Knight gets over here. Chakra's overlay is such fire. How is your overlay going, uh, Deep Port? You do have a uh, Gondor for Ogre Strength. If you have any uh, any trouble, of course, feel free to ask me. What do we have here for the Demon Mother? Ring of Protection. Chakra, where are you live? Where are you live? Are you German or... I'm Dutch. I'm there's some. Uh, I live in the Netherlands. Even when you change the standard settings, it will revert, giving you only Dutch answers. Man, that sucks, man. Maybe I should get a. Maybe I should get a proxy in America, <laughs> just so it defaults to uh, English too. Yeah. Well, let's see. Did I get two gauntlets of Ogre Strength? Uh, those are both. The second best, but he really wants those mantles. You rather have one mantle of intelligence and one like shitty, very shitty item like cloak of shadows, maybe or slippers, then have two gauntlets of strength. But I guess he can't really complain. At least he got two gauntlets. Uh, the demon hunter, the ring of protection. That's even worse. It's worse than anything. 
pretty bad item. He bought boots. Let's see what he's doing. He has three arches. I also want to know what strategy he's planning to do this game. This guy, this matchup is just so interesting to me because the matchup is played differently by different players. We don't always have the same strategy. I mean, we have, we have roughly the same strategy. But it's slightly different, mostly from the Night of Play uh, side. You, the, that player, of course, always does. Uh, well, not always, but most of the time does roughly. It doesn't have much choice, really. <laughs> that just doesn't have much choice about the strategy. It's mostly the Night of the decides what strategies are being played, and uh, that just reacts to it. Ring is better than height. Uh, but you cannot get Cloak of Shadows instead of the ring. Uh, ring is an item you get over here. The Cloak of Shadows is an item you get over here. Two rings of protection. Uh, one plus three. Actually, I was saying it was bad, but of course against that, this is one of the matchups where the rings aren't that bad. Because your Deep Note are just uh, living longer. It's actually very nice. In fact, these items might even be better than uh, DPS. Especially if you're planning on getting a Panda second. Then not. So, of course, the circlet would still be the best item for the Ring of Protection plus 2. Uh, the Ring of Protection plus 3. I mean, since he already had the boots, he already has the evasion. There were some worse items he could have gotten than the Ring of Protection plus 3. Um, but there were some better ones as well. Let's see. The Death Knight Scream over here gets. He got a Skull of the Beast, by the way, from over here. It was a very interesting creep to creep, now that I think about it. And now he creeps this. That's a very interesting creeper out here, by the way, by WC. Creeps the two little turtles, then goes for the big turtles, and then goes for the, sh the merchant near Moon's base. The panda won't be able to creep it. Also, Skull of the Beast here for uh, Moon, but he won't be able to, to use it, probably. He's probably just gonna sell it right now. Look at him selling it. There it is. And, uh, and this or also crap by WC. No, this wasn't crap by WC. Why uh, is he going over here? There was crap by the Demon Hunter. That's what the Ring of Protection was for. Did WC finish maybe the last two ones? Come on, Chaco, pay more attention. I've been watching this game and I forgot. It's because I have the memory of a goldfish. Drunken Haze here first. And the Demon Hunter, by the way, already level 3. But he cannot uh, uh, harass this yet because he wants to create this creep camp here with the panda and the demon and the demon hunter and three archers. He, he, he definitely can't creep this without the uh, demon hunter and the demon hunter with the armor tanking so much damage. Look at them missing. Look, th look at them doing no damage. Uh, crystal ball. What is the item? What is he gonna? What is he gonna reveal here? Nothing yet. Anyway, let's look at our vision. Let's start with Moon, a Wisp over here, a Wisp over uh, all over the map. Well, not all over the map. So they both got each other's merchant, by the way. Your building is in support there. Interesting. He still hasn't used the Crystal Ball. I guess there's nothing really important to uh, scout. He knows what's happening. He knows probably where WFZ is. I mean, he has a scout here, so he knows WFC is either creeping this or this. Much more likely to be creeping this now. Let's see if I was right. I was wrong. Well, anyway, we do see the Death Knight. Both players see the Death Knight. This is what WFC sees, by the way. He has no scouts at all on the map because he doesn't have wisps. You cannot hang a ghoul in a tree and uh, get lumber that way. The ghoul has actually to cut the tree and then walk home, bring the lumber home. He's getting... Uh, he has, a, he has a sacrificial pit, by the way. So that means we might see frost worms, which is uh, pretty rare for WFD. He's not really a frost worm player. <laughs> Almost lost a panda creeps. Seven hit points is living on the edge. No, I wasn't worried. Oh, there he uses a reveal, and he sees the sacrificial pit. He knows shades are gonna be out. But he uh, doesn't see the boneyard yet because I don't see the boneyard yet either. And that's almost level three. By the way, I didn't see any demon hunter us. And here I was always saying in this matchup, what's most important? That demon hunter harass, that mana burner harass. Gives two gondolas, by the way, to the Naga. Um. 10.9 armor is about 39.5% damage reduction. Now he's 11.9. Now he has uh, 8.9, which is 34. 
but uh, you of course have to remove five armor from it from the orb of corruption. That uh, I'm not sure what did he do with the other ring. He sold it even. Oh, interesting. Here I was saying that. Uh, okay. Anyway, we have a fight here. We have master bears. Are they going to bear for him? Yes. And one archer does die. I'm not sure. Well, we have to. Uh, do we have a healing scroll? Did he, uh, he just used a healing scroll. Just when I was checking. Death Knight still has mana. All the heroes here for uh, WC have mana. So he, I'd like to see some more mana burns. There's a mana burn on the lich. But the Death Knight. Oh, Death Knight's out of mana as well. So he TPs out the, this uh, dried in a bit of danger. WC is uh, back home. By the way, remember, right? We saw Colorful play against WC on Ladder, I believe, with a bunch of games. And he won every game with just no expansion of course we know uh, lo uh not the light uh, we know life also beats most of the top on that and he gets like an expansion around 44 supply which is what he is at right now but he does a very good job with the mana burn harass so moon so far i don't see an ex okay we do see the expansion we didn't see the mana burn harass and here, here come the bears what item did he pick up uh endurance aura very nice one bear goes down though um it's still worth it, probably. Let's see if he loses more. He loses a TP. And this bear. Oh, two bears. Two bears and a TP. Is that worth it for the Django? We'll see. see. Not only did he get the Django, of course. He also uh, denied the Django for the undead player. So that's why I'm still considering that it might be worth it. Even though he lost so much. This is a wisp. Um, well, can he defend his ex expansion? I guess if he won't be able to defend his expansion, it wasn't worth it. If he can defend his expansion, it might have been worth it. TH won 2 to 0, first of all, Lyot. Second game, Naga first for TH. So, <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's a standard strategy for TH. I guess Naga might as well, though. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Naga first. I've seen him do the. He's been doing this strategy already for years, now and then. Okay, here comes the defense. Uh, the Tree of Life is down to 400 hit points. A nice mana burn there on the Death Knight. We still have plenty of mana on the Naga, but not on the Lich. Uh, the Breath of Fire doing so much damage. Do we have more healing scrolls? One more. Uh, use one, I believe. The Panda has mana for uh, plenty of mana, of course, with the Potion of Greater Mana as well. The Boots of Speed on the Panda as well. The Root Bracer is helping a lot as well, maybe. It helped. I'm not sure actually how much it helped, but I'm sure it helped a little bit. Uh, this fiend. Oh, it kills the fiend. The panda in trouble. Panda's Michael back. Panda, no, don't die for you, me, Panda. Panda went down. I don't think he could have saved it because he only has one star, had one staff on the panda. Didn't have any info potions or anything on the panda. So uh, this bear is uh, using rejuvenate and then uh, he dies. Even though there will be fine here. Oh, we nice mana burn there before another coil went off. And we would, I'd like to see another mana burn soon there on this Lich. Or soonish. Not. Yeah, right. Right now. Perfect. 100 mana burn. Uh, the Naga is still alive. The Lich might fall though. The, can he save the Lich? The Lich is going to die. And I think uh, Moon's going to defend his expansion. And in fact, he killed a lot in that fight. Even though he lost the Panda, he killed so much. I feel like he just won the game. I feel like he he killed enough to. Uh, there's no real comeback potential here for WFC, especially since he doesn't go fast worms. Typical WFC, no fast worms. Yeah, but he uh, rebought the the lich. We still have a small chance here. Moon seventeen supply up, but where's the panda? Panda, oh, panda is over here. Rebought at the tavern. Expansion is is up. What items are we buying? Info potion. Let's see how much mana does he have. Oh, mana. He should be harassing with the demon hunter. Oh, um, not sure. Of course, if he had vision or if he knew where uh, WC was. Uh, the dry does fall. Some nice detonates. Oh, that was beautiful. Those detonates. I think those were two detonates that at least hit two heroes. Each of them. Yeah, the panda is back. Level three. Demon hunter is uh, level five, of course. Level three mana burn is just insane. Just all mana. Any hero is gone. Okay, uh, it doesn't have an info potion, of course, because uh, it was sold out even if it wanted to. Mana burned the Death Knight. Uh, the Fiend 
will survive. The bears are just walking. Uh, behind, uh, they're just uh, hunting down the fiend. While well, the demon hunter and their dry is going for the destroyer. And there it is, GG. Moon wins game three. We saw some ladder games recently. I think the last two ladder games they played against each other, Focus actually won. There's a nice uh, shockwave. Uh, let's... Uh, it's best of three. Doesn't know the score, but we have a fight here. The demon hunter uh, is being snared, is being killed. He does have two rings of protection. 41% damage reduction. Killing uh, these cows. Uh, this game is looking uh, like an easy game for, for life, or easy. It's looking very good for life, does it? Wait, don't speak too soon, Chapo, because we have three raiders still, two uh, and a berserker, and his life is losing uh, Druids of the Talon trying to retreat here. He has a, does have an Ancient of War here. We do have 42 against 46 supply. What are the hero levels like? Level 3 Demon Hunter, level 3 Beastmaster. Yeah, it does look good for life. It's level 4 Blade Master, level 3 TC. Life easy, Katka. High sexy beast, high kimchi and some. Okay, um, do we ask the Chinese for the score? If we... Uh, we have a bit of a downtime, but it seems like they're fighting. Fighting. We have a piggy. Let's see, well, do we have items? We have one heal scroll and info potion. The info potion is so important. We have an expansion going up for focus. Don't like that too much. We don't have info potions. We don't have heal scrolls here for life. Okay, so life can still lose here by losing a hero or two or five. Oh, what? Okay. I think we have a little bit of a break here. Or do we? Come on. Okay, life's going back in. We don't have a break. Of course, he needs to, he needs to focus. Uh, he needs to pressure this expansion. 50 against 56. One healing scroll now, but no info potions here for life. And uh, this dude of the Titan is Michael Dodd. Where is that pocket factory? Oh, no mana for a pocket factory. That's horrible there uh, for life. He uses a one heal scroll. One raider goes down. This dude of the Titan can be my code. Uh, yes, it could have been my code. It had mana for crop for him. Uh, two raiders dying there. The TC gets mana burn. No more mana on the TC. Another druid of the Talon down. Two druids of the Talon. Okay, his mana for Pocket Factory. Beautiful positioning on that Pocket Factory. But the Demon Hunter is, is dying. He stops out the Demon Hunter. Doesn't have a staff of teleportation. She has to walk all the way back. This piggy kills that uh, Spirit Walker. That could have been my code as well, I believe. I mean, it was pretty obvious uh, that piggy was targeting it. We have two Berserkers now. And we we'll have to wait for the Demon Hunter to come back. Expansion. I mean, this expansion might pay off here, but the uh, Ace of War is heading over. That's the Demon Hunter. And, and does he buy an Info Potion? He finally has a chance here to buy an Info Potion. And Focus just retreating. Okay, of course, he needs to heal up. He needs clarity. So he's buying TP. Oh, he's going for the base race. He realizes I cannot def defend this expansion with this Ace of War here. So all these peons, or some of these peons, are going to die. But the tree, uh, I mean the town hall, might not die. And now I can maybe have a, have a chance oh, what? to read the chat here about the score. Uh, a lot of people talking. But also some in English. Someone's asking if it's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1 one, one, apparently. There's a TP home here for life and a TP out here. How much did he lose? Two Moonwells. Two Moonwells that there, but the expansion went down. Uh, yeah. Could have maybe TP'd a bit earlier. Is that what you guys are talking about? With the AOW, I think he would tear it down plus the Tinker Factory. 1-1. One, one. Okay, let's update the score. And uh, TC actually kills that Ancient of War. What? Oh, go away. But 50 Spy is 57. That does, of course, mean. Uh, I mean, Fly. No, Fly. Focus has been over 50 Supply for quite some time. A player's forces are under attack. So, um. We have been having a better income here for uh, life. Fly, did, did he have Pillage, by the way? Uh, not Fly. Focus. 
He did not have pillage, so he didn't get a lot of money. Didn't go past start. Didn't collect $200. Uh, TC has mana for one one shockwave. Unless he gets mana bird. Oh, the, he was just in time for the shockwave. But only hit three dudes of the tail and a demon hunter. Demon hunter has an uh, evil potion. This beautiful position here, by the way. Nice choke here for life. Demon hunter will probably uh, yeah, survive, no problem. Uh, these raiders look there. <laughs> Can't even get to the dudes of the tail. This one can go birdie or even maybe Michael back alive. Why is your Michael alive? I thought you had great Michael and he TP's out. He kills. Uh, not this guy. This is a dude of the tail in there as well. Maybe also needlessly. Uh, life at 46. Focus still at 57. If you can't get a level 5 TC, this game is still very close. Uh, actually, it's still very close. Night anyway. Still, uh, life still. He has a small advantage. He can still easily lose, especially if the Blade Master buys these items. He buys the Info Potion and a Healing Scroll. Now, life does not have any of them. No, neither does he have Healing Scrolls. Neither does he have Info Potion. He does finally have the Staff of Teleportation. as a TP here on the Blade, uh, Beastmaster. Of course, life has the stronger heroes as long as the TC is not level 5. And uh, 50 supply against 57 is also pretty good for life. Just needs items. The item advantage definitely goes to focus here with this info potion and the heal scroll. Uh, however, if you look at the, the items they got from creeps, it does look like the items are better here for uh, for life. This demon hunter is very strong. Two rings of protection. Plus 6.2 armor, 41%. He has level two evasion, level one evasion. It's almost level four. For level 2 evasion, he has 2. Oh, there was a nice shockwave hitting 4 dudes of the tail and a piggy. Remember, there's no healing scrolls here for uh, for life. I'm not sure why he just moved in there with the TC when he only when he had exactly 105 mana. He could have uh, kept avoiding the demon hunter, get another uh, shockwave off. Maybe yeah, he was just trying to save his shop with a shop. Oh, the demon hunter, very long hit points. Shop goes down, demon hunter gets stopped out, but he can stop back in. Beautiful position again on these Tinker uh, things. And I think this is one of the reasons why life is so much better than the other Night Elves against Orc. It's just his pack pocket factories are much better placed. 50 spike and 56. Uh, no more shop or uh, focus. All are fair, car fair cartridge. Luckily, Chaco seems fresh. I'm fresh, fresh out of bed. This morning I came out of bed. The, the demon hunter has a TP. Okay, gave the TP to the demon hunter. Can he kill the TC? TC, very low on hit points. But he does ensnare the demon hunter, saving the. Oh, does he actually save it? 16 hit points. He does save the. Uh, 12 hit points. He does save the uh, TC. Did they build a shop over here? Yes, he's building a shop over here. What's the supply? 50 against 53. Uh, let's look at his bodies for a second because I let's see we have three dudes of the Talon and here we have two raiders and a spirit walker so much better here for uh, life even though you had to use a TP as well uh, I'm sure we saw the info potion and the healing scroll used there for orc so item wise they both use about the same uh, amount of items but we saw more kills there oh fairy dragon oh the TC uh, not TC blade master not in trouble. He has the info potion. He has a healing scroll. This pocket factory, I'm not sure. But of course, his units were kind of trickling in. So it's hard to place a pocket factory right in that position. So the pocket factory does go down, but it doesn't matter even because the, all the units are still hurt here for uh, focus. Even with that healing scroll, he cannot win the fight. He has to go back to the shop, but he has to save his blade master as well. Even with seven second info potion, he, uh, well. Yeah, he needs to keep threatening here with the rest of the armor army, so he cannot just go home and heal a wall because the blade master is just going to die. Okay, now the blade master back there. Okay, and this is this part of the game we see all the time where uh, Night of just secures the victory, just hunting down those uh, orc units that are trying to heal up. Oh, he didn't even buy any any uh, healing salves or a speed scroll. Did he not have the money? I don't know. I mean, he does have the money now, but. Could have cancelled like a spirit walk or something, but let's see if he can get uh, now. Even if he gets life out of position, I don't think there's a chance here for uh, what's his name for the focus shockwave hitting two dudes of the tail and the demon hunter. And well, these units are running for their life. 
You're dying. Dying. Okay, the Tinker is uh, getting a stare. Can he kill the Tinker? Yes, he used the Invo Potion. 144 critical strike. Maybe more crits could win the game here. Worth level 3 critical strike, but not if you're being cycloned. Okay, but the Demon are pretty low on hit points. Uh, but so the most of the orc army just died. They're also two piggies doing so much damage to, against the spirit walkers. They're all that dead. They're all dead besides one. Demon Hunter should be stopped out of there. They're beautiful stuff. And what do we have now? 49 against 46. We have a supply advantage for life. Even though he lost that tinker, even though I have a level 5 blade, ma uh, blade master, it's gonna be uh, it's looking pretty difficult here for uh. Why? Oh, uh, focus. Oh, actually, maybe with the level 5 TC. He still has one comeback chance here with the level 5 TC. The game is not over yet. And his Blade Master is going to buy some healing cells. I mean, that would be smart. Uh, he kills another Raider. Kills another Walker. Maybe another Berserker. He can always Cyclone it and kill it. Uh, of course, it's going to take some time, so that's not what you want to do. He can probably just hunt it down with the Piggy. And it's going for the beast here, okay. Okay, so the TC will get level 5 from the piggy. Okay, this is the chance here for uh, focus. We have one healing scroll. Some of these Jews of the 10 are already low enough and on health that they will die to a shockwave. There's a shockwave hitting like 5, 6, 6 Jews of the tail and killing one of them. Healing scroll has been used though, so we need at least uh, 2 more shockwaves. It does have mana soon for one more. This burrow is way too far in the front, I'm not sure why. Uh, there's a shockwave on Spirit Walker. The Raiders just killing uh, Dudes of the Talon. TC almost has mana for a shockwave. Don't walk in range of the Demon Hunter. Where's that mana burn? There's that mana burn, 96. And that probably sealed... Well, did it seal the game? I mean, that... Uh, well, we'll see. We still have uh, plenty of Raiders here killing Dudes of the Talon. Well, we only have five Dudes of the Talon left. But if he was able to get one more shockwave off... Uh, that would have been so good there for focus. Okay. Yeah, it does seem like uh, well, life is eight supply up. Uh, he's gonna lose his fairy dragon though, so now he's only six supply up. Does have mana for pocket factory. He's raiders four raiders. And uh, why does the knight of not go for burrows? He doesn't want to get out of position. It's a little bit risky to go for the burrows. Of course, if it pays off, you win the game, but uh, he's probably thinking that he's gonna win the game no matter what, or if he plays safe, he's gonna win the game, so he doesn't want to take any big risks. Uh, that shockwave hit three dudes of the tail, and not good enough of a shockwave, killing one of them. He needs to uh, have really good shockwaves if he wants to come back this game. Doesn't have a mana potion, doesn't only have clarity. There are some more piggies. The Raiders dying way too fast here. Uh, do we have more Cyclones? Yes, we have a Cyclone on the Blade Master, maybe one on TC as well. There it is, GG. Attack versus Fly. Yes. So the winner will play against Moon, the loser, I think, against WFZ. I'm not 100% sure. What, what is Check going to do? He's going to the main base. He has level 3 Demon Hunter, level 3 Beastmaster, level 2 Tinker, 49 against 68. Fly is 20 Supply Advantage. He's trying to build expansion over here. And, uh,. Uh, Blade Master level 4 with Tojaro, some nice items. TC level 5 with also nice items. This game looking much better for uh, Orc than last game. And in fact, it's looking pretty bad here for Czech. His hero levels are stronger for Fly. Items are much better for Fly. We do have still a Skull of the Beast here for Czech though. So maybe if he can... Uh... Well, he has expansion. Oh wait, he has expansion up as well. So it's not looking that bad yet for Czech. If he can uh, gather an army strong enough to hold off uh, this army, use the Skull of the Beast for super damage on a big army. And get some nice Cyclones and Mana Burns on the TC. We still have a small chance here for check. Why you have this weird resolution of the game? It is because... Uh, it is because... Uh, the, the Normally on... This server, NetEase, you don't have widescreen. It doesn't support widescreen. So you have to use a hack to uh, support the widescreen. But this is an official game, an, uh, a tournament game. So they have some uh, protection against the hack. And the hack doesn't work just to make it uh, fair for everyone. 
But even as an observer, I guess uh, it's kind of weird. Anyway, two archers died there. TP out. The Beastmaster. Does uh, Back to Warcraft, by the way, they, I know they, they have... Do they have widescreen? I think they do have widescreen, but... Fortunately, I don't have the... Different software. Uh, there are the, when the tree of uh, life these with detonating. Uh, so, back down 53 against fly 68. The birdie. Wait, he went birdie on a level 3 Beastmaster? Interesting. Level 2 birdie, level 1 piggy. Nah, uh, well, the position here, maybe that could be good. Like, the, oh, the TC has no mana. This is maybe the chance here. Blade Master has plus 26 damage, but that doesn't matter. No, check, uh, check doesn't take it. There, here's Night Elf going for a Burrows. You get stuck in the base and need to TP out. Um, no? I mean, I, I'm not sure who was talking about going for the burrows. Of course, uh, going for the burrows can be very good. It's just not always good. Right? If you don't have a TP, it's a pretty much an all-in move. But even if you have a TP, it's not always good. Uh, Tinker there. Uh, okay, there's the Skull of the Beast. 288. Oh, 256. Tinker went down. Before he even used the invoke potion, but now he's using the invoke potion to kill Deuce of the Talons. This the pocket factory in a horrible position. Uh, life would have placed that much better and would have won this game. Uh, the Raiders and this Druids of the Talon here. Well, the, the TC is uh, is out of mana. Uh, how much supply do we have? 40 against 56, and we have an expansion, of course, for focus. So uh, if he wins this fight, he wins the game. Demon Hunter is snared here. Oh, the Demon Hunter is in trouble. Demon Hunter has an info potion, but he gets staffed out. Tinker uh, is dead, but the Beastmaster is still over here, just fighting, uh, getting ensnared. He cannot walk home. There's no way he can walk all the way home. We could maybe have a dead Beastmaster there, and there it is. GG. So this is uh, the semi-finals, by the way. So wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. The winner of this qualifies no matter what, right? Let's see, we have... Uh, Complete. Let me look. Let me just double check. Top four will qualify for GCS Winter 2017. The winner of this is even if he loses in the winners finals. Yeah, it's always going to be top four. So uh, yeah, either Moon or Fly, and either Life or TS, we already qualify here for uh, GCS. DCS uh, winter. Great. Great. So we have Fly here in the top right. Oh uh, no, yes, yes. Fly here in top right is the orc from China with the Blade Master. All we have in the bottom left, we have Moon in the orange. He has Firebrand, the Demon Hunter. Uh, while here we have just uh, Samuro. Hey master, and let me miles with my left hand here. Oh, this is interesting. A very interesting start so far. Moon starts creeping. This creep camp, I've never seen this before. Is this the way how it's gonna be fly? Is this a strategy against fly? He only has one wisp, is that enough? Oh no, he's two wisps. He detonates with one of them, uh, but immediately, wait, what? Why is this guy still uh, bloodlusted? Oh, he bloodlusted himself, of course. Uh, he immediately re it himself. A Hellstone here for the Demon Hunter. He's gonna get level 2 killing this, this little guy. And then he will still kill the level 5 for more XP. With the Archer and the Ancient of War. Meanwhile, the Blade Master got sent towards. That's a really nice item. And he bought a Surplet. So he gets the best item. The Demon Hunter, the Hellstone, might actually be the best item here as well. Is that true? Um, probably not. Maybe he could have done something with the early Book of the Dead. I definitely think the Hellstone is better than the Mana Stone from the Demon Hunter. And Healing Wards are of course only uh, only good late game. This is an item that's good early game, late game, all the time. 
no matter when. Because first you get this health regeneration, and later you can uh, even use the health stone when you need it. And the health regeneration, very good for uh, Night Elf. Because they usually uh, lack healing. I mean, they're limit they have limited healing, let me say it like that. So, any extra healing is very nice. Vice Boots, uh, the Ring of Protection on the other hand, very shitty item. Such a shitty item. Blade Master here, he got a class of attack from... Which creep can did the Blade Master creep? Wasn't paying enough attention there uh, on uh, at Mr. Blade Master, did he creep? Did he creep? Oh, that one. Class of attack is nice, yeah, that's nice. And he gets a Serpent over there, which is also kind of nice. Demon Hunter, uh... Or this creep can oh the blade master is hurt though. He can he can maybe creep jack but he's gonna lose his uh self, his healing self and then he will be low on hit points. There's a wait how did he know that was there of course a player's forces are under attack. I don't know. There's a nice mana burn. Maybe it's because he was running all over the place, so he figured the chance of the blade master is very high. Uh, there's a dust used. The archer uh, is going to die to the speed scroll. grunts. There's the first kill here. Does he get more than one archer? Good question, Taco. Good question. Where's the Ains of War even? Here, no more archers. Okay. Do you want to creep in this by himself? Gets illusions. Of course, the blade master saw the items on the demon hunter. So he realized uh, what the demon hunter cut. There is a sentry ward here for fly. A sentry ward here for fly. So fly has some pretty good vision. Uh, only doesn't see the center, but if you see the rest of the map, then you know exactly when the night of is in the center because you know he's not on the rest of the map. Moon on the other hand, does he have wisp all over the map? Not really. One wisp over here. Our warriors have engaged. Engaging in combat over here. Yes, a beastmaster out is creeping. The blade master. Did he kill, uh, kill that uh, creep? I'm not sure uh, if he stole it, but we do have a uh, level 3 demon hunter with level 2 mana burn. He <laughs> doesn't even have mana for the mana burn. But this grunt got ensnared and dying to the piggies and the beastmasters. There he goes. That's a nice pick off there by uh, Moon. He lost that archer early, but now he kills his grunt. That is pretty good for Moon. Miss there, and there's a critical strike. There's a miss, and there's a hit, and there's another hit. East Master opens level 2. The TC, where is he? He's just out right now. TC is out. We have uh, Bestiary up, Spirit Lodge up. All of that did, did get cancelled. The Beast Master will get level 2. By the way, great healing potion on the Beast Master as well. He still has the healing stone there on the Demon Hunter, so a lot of healing on these heroes. They are not going to die no matter what. Blade Master killing some uh, gnolls. Let's see if he gets another great item because if he wants to kill those heroes, he needs more DPS. Just creeping with one grunt and the TC. There's another grunt coming. And uh, Blade Master, of course, just going to do some harassment. Okay, he did see. Okay, he saw Night Elf here. He saw Moon there with the Sentry Ward. That's why the Sentry Ward is such a good item, but it's going to be too late. The Gloves of Haste already uh, picked up by the Demon Hunter. He can probably kill this creep. He does get it. Don't does steal that creep but what else can he do he's out of mana he doesn't have boots he actually can be hunted down by the demon hunter oh probably radar is going to be out soon and he can save the demon hunter uh the blade master so demon hunter creeping over here with two piggies while the beast master is going back home he, and lick his wounds maybe drink clarity first however uh of course, wants to be out creeping as soon as possible. It doesn't the demon hunter doesn't get get a kill on the murloc, even though the piggy is there and the piggy might have been able to kill it. Piggy goes down. I think the uh, TC got the XP. He also kills a murloc. Level two TC. Mana burner on the little cow guy. Uh, there's one more snare available. Uh oh, demon hunter will he have to TP there? Oh, he used the illusion to anti surround, but is that going to be good enough? That is good enough. Very nice anti surround there by Moon. And another mana burn on the TC. We also have a clause of attack that he probably wanted to give against the Blade Master. Blade Master also got the slippers of agility, prob pro probably from that Murloc that he just killed. Oh, the Demon Hunter has to use that greater, uh, that uh, healing stone. The Demon Hunter guarding the, the fake Demon Hunter guarding the Druids of the Talon there. 
But um, there's nothing else that uh, Fly can do over here. Who grunts very low, uh, well, not low on hit points, but they only have 700 hit points. He never got Berserker strength. He's probably not planning to at this point. Well, he actually has the lumber. He might as well. Just for the two grunts. Is, is it worth to get Berserker strength just for two grunts? I'm not sure if it is. I mean, it's 50 gold. I mean, the, he has the lumber. So the lumber might as well say, might as well be zero lumber. Wouldn't make a difference. Oh, these two grunts are ensnared. They are going to die so hard. We have a tinker. When do we have master? We're waiting for master. Where's your master moon? Oh, master moon is almost done. Uh, one grunt died. The other one survived. And now it's, I guess, it's not worth the 50 gold anymore for the berserker strength. Uh, Tome of Intelligence. From which hero is going to pick it up? The Beastmaster. Since he didn't even have mana anymore for piggies right now. Extra intelligence helps here. Moon at 43. Fly at 49. There's a mana burn on this uh, Spirit's Cow. There's a piggy. There's a Cyclone. Uh, this Grunt is getting killed. It went down. The TC going for this... Uh, this uh, this druid of Titan, the other, these other raiders, what are they attacking? Not this druid of Titan, now they are. There's a micro by Moon, of course, Moon with beautiful micro. Micros is druid of the Titan. TC is so low already, but he still has a healing scroll. His healing scroll is going to heal so much. Look at that. There, he uses it, also used that scroll of the beast. Blade Master done, do plus 31 damage. He needs a cyclone. He used Grady. Oh, it kills the Blade Master. No, it almost kills the Blade Master, but there's the Info Potion. Meanwhile, these raiders in the back being cycloned. I guess there's no banner for dispel. The scroll of the beast, by the way, so. Doing so much damage. The TC went down. The Blade Beastmaster TP's out. The Blade Master will survive here. The Raiders uh, as well. We have Moon at the supply lead, which means that Moon is very likely to win this game. Next fight, there won't be a Skull of the Beast. Sure, the Blade Master does plus 19 damage. Attacks very fast with a plus 7 agility. But it doesn't matter if he's being cycloned. His units are still healing. Moon is just coming back for him. Of course, the Skull of the Beast is almost. Almost uh, going to expire. With a level 1 tinker. Almost level 3 Beastmaster. And a level 3.6 or so Demon Hunter. And it seems Moon might get a revenge here on Fly. Of course, this match matters much less than the last matches they played in the GCS. Because even uh, if Fly loses this game, he still has another chance in the loser's bracket. And even if he de loses that, he still has two more qualifiers to qualify. So this game isn't even nearly as important as that game they last played in the GCS. It's, uh, it's 10 times less important, or maybe even more less important. <laughs> or maybe even less important. Uh, Blade Master is being Cyclone and Cyclone and Cyclone. Like, the like what I'm saying here, that the loser of this match is very likely uh, to be the favorite to still qualify anyway in the future. So it's actually not that important at all. But uh, there's a nice healing wave, a uh, healing scroll for someone. I think uh, someone used that one. I think. Uh, not a lot of uh, cyclones here. The Blade Master being cycloned. TC. Oh, there's level up. Level 3 Beast Master. Level 2 Tinker. There's a mana burn on the TC for only 20. And this radar will, uh, will fall here probably. We have 42 against 45. We have his side lead here for fly, but that's not gonna help him. The TC still level 2. The Demon Hunter fighting against the TC. Blade Master comes back down. It gets Cyclone again. Now 192 critical strike. Um, Demon Hunter killing more. Piggy. 142. Fly went down to 35. Went down a lot, and this is gonna be GG here in a second. Like, after this Blade Master going to die. Or is he gonna survive Samuro? No, he's dead and this raid is dying. This is GG, right? Come on, fly. It's GG. I'm sorry. I'm, I guess he has to take a second here to realize that he doesn't have a chance anymore in this game. There it is, GG. We have Moon here in the top left and in the top right we have Fly. Moon Kong with the Demon Hunter. What is gonna keep this game? Where is this Angels of War? Here it is. Uh, again, pretty. Is it 
Standard? No, it's not standard, right? We've seen it a little bit. Sometimes we do see it against Orc. But I haven't seen it in professional games recently, actually. Actually, We usually see this creep camp being trapped with the Angel of War. The last game went well for Moon when he went for a pretty strong creep with the Angel of War. So I guess this game he does again. I do remember when I played Orc myself, though, that sometimes this did happen. I had to scout for it or didn't scout for it. Keep it in mind. The Knight of Cook Creep this and you'd be uh, behind in XP. I haven't seen it uh, recently very often because some orcs they just play very aggressively. Like fly against Shishi yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? But re very recently uh, he was playing very aggressively every time with the Blade Master. That's how he beat Shishi. This, uh, this game against Moon is not playing very aggressively just yet. Not, uh, not sure if he got the kill there. I think he got the kill there. He has 73 XP and he only killed this level, uh, only this ogre. So yeah, he did get a wisp kill there. Didn't detonate. But the demon hunter got the parry up. Creep over here with his archer. Oh, and the blade master did. Get this kill. I I don't know why the, the demon hunter wasn't he close over here? Maybe not close enough to uh, aggro the creeps. But now we have the blade master with the gloves, uh, claws of attack and the gloves of haste. Strong there already. Well, the demon hunter just has parry up in the claws of attack. I mean, probably still stronger than oh the berserker moon bought the berserker and he's blocking the blade master with a wisp. While the berserker is being blocked here by the grunt. And the Berserker does fall. We have a level 2 Blade Master now. Let's go for the Moonwell now. Yes. Heals back up. Picks up the parry up. There's a 92 critical strike there on the uh, Demon Hunter. A player's forces are under attack. The potion of greater mana as well. But he has a potion of greater mana. Oh yeah, of course. He got a potion of greater mana over there. Uh, I'm so used to <laughs> them selling their items there. But I guess uh, if you get a potion of greater mana, you keep it for the TC later. Also a potion of... In fact, against Night Elf, you probably keep bo most items besides uh, Wand of Mana Stealing. There's a 80 damage critical strike on the Demon Hunter, but he missed some attacks as well. Blade Master now going for the Wisp. The Wisp goes into the tree. The Wisp is still alive. Where are the archers? Again, by the way, we do see Fly playing pretty aggressively here, but there are four Moonwells up. There's an Archer. Of course, the Berserker dying. Fly, uh, Moon is not in the best shape, and this Moonwell is probably going to fall as well. But maybe he can kill Grunt here. Grunt. I think I might have to sneeze here. The Grunt's surviving. The Archer's hiding. Speed call. I, I'm holding in my sneeze. Do I sneeze? Oh, I... Okay. I didn't have to sneeze. Well, I did have to sneeze, but... I stopped it. But thank me later. Oh, there's a candle on that... On that... Uh, on that angel of wind. The wisp does go down. And... Uh, great block. Yeah, so saving his uh, grunt. Oh, uh, Beastmaster is out. So far, it's going pretty well here. I want to save for fly. Got some nice items. He uh, he's well, he's a bit behind in XP, but he killed the Forest Soul Berserker. He killed the Moonwall. He, he cancelled the Ancient of Wind. Rebuilding two of them. What did Moon do? Not that much. Massive creeping over here. Okay, here comes uh, TC with the grunt. Gonna cancel this Moonwell again. Or again. Last time he just killed it. Doesn't go for this Angel of Wind, even though he is, he's attacking. He might have been able to go for it, but it's pretty risky there. Uh, Blade Master now. Oh, the Beastmaster surrounded. Beautiful surround. Do we have staff? No, but we do have a TP. Gives the TP. Is a, be a Blade Master going to die? Don't even need to use the TP. Where is there dust? There's no dust. He just TPs out. 
Saving the Beastmaster from the Blade Master. But the Aces of War. Probably one fall here. Uh, actually, there's still two grunts in DC and a Raider. Maybe, yeah, maybe he could go for it. It's going to take him some time, though. And uh, this means the Demon Hunter comes back here with no items because he doesn't have shop yet. Neither does he have tier 3. There goes an Ace of War. I don't think there is a final for my PL. I don't think there's a final. Do you know there against? Or maybe there is. Maybe there is, but it's just for seeding, so it's not that important. Uh, kills the grunt. The demon hunter dies. Level three demon hunter. And uh, this is this game looks over. There's a, a snare on the beastmaster. There it is. GG. Game three of life. N not life. Fly versus moon is life. On Twisted Meadows, and we have uh, this. Is, was this map chosen by Moon? Actually, I don't know how the maps are chosen. I assume there's gonna be uh, there was a, like a voting process. So, but I guess Moon didn't vote down Twisted Meadows, or he. Um, well, Moon lost last game, or he just chose it right now as the map to play. But uh, that's interesting, Twisted Meadows. And a uh, pretty good position here for Moon, I want to say. He can creep this creep camp with the Angel of War. Uh, it's pretty difficult for Ort. Well, they can creep this somehow if they uh, do some kind of trick. But he's not going for it. But what is he doing? What's Moon doing? I think he's going for a Hunter's Hole. He's not, oh, of course he's going for the Hunter's Hole. Ancient War would have been uh, up already a long time ago. Already by the time I mentioned it the first time, it should have been uh, going up already. So Moon is not actually going to creep that. He instead is going for a Hunter's Hole. There it is. And there's the Ancient War. So we'll see Huntresses. Uh, will we see Dryads? Will we see Dryads or do we still see Juice of the Dead? I think Moon is more of a Dryads player uh, when he goes to Hunter's Hole. Well, for example, someone like Life would maybe play Hunter's Hole but then still switch to Juice of the Talon. Moon is probably going to play Dryads. Of course, because he, uh, we have seen him beat some pretty good orcs with Dryads. Shooting Fly, I believe. Was playing against right now. Moon lost first fly on Twisted Meadows last GCS. And well, see if history repeats itself. Okay, I'm off to work. Bye, guys. See ya, Fuma. Hey, Baldimus. Baldimus. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, Blade Master, what is he doing? He's creeping over here next to the sheep. And uh, Demon Hunter just uh, searching for the Blade Master. We will now see these corpses. If he was paying attention at least. Pay attention to his demon hunter. If he was looking somewhere else, he might not have seen those corpses and he's still in the dark. Still doesn't know what uh, Fly did there. Scout over here. Still, I don't think he has seen Fly at all. Anywhere. And of course, if you go Hunter says the tables turn a little bit. It's the orc that's trying to creep. And the Demon Hunters is trying to harass. Instead of the other way around. Uh, is the Blade Master already level 2? He's probably very close. Tojara. By the way, we have Tojara! 184 XP. Oh, well, here we have Flame Seeker. Oh, he's trying to kill this Grunt. Can he get that Grunt? Uh, I mean, maybe he could go all in on the Grunt, but he will be forced. He, he might have been forced to uh, TP, but actually now with the Hunters and the Blade Master being so far away. Grunt walks in to safety. This other Grunt also gets hurt. Has to walk uh, back to safety as well. The Blade Master level 2 now. Tojara. I think he, uh, he probably killed this little guy. Yes, and he got a Tome of Strength. Not the Tome he wanted, but it's, it's alright. The Tome of Strength is alright. Hunters against the Grunt. One hunter is against one of the grunt, the grunt wins. The two hunters is against two grunts, the hunters is win. Healing up in the back here. 
Meanwhile, what is this? Bunch of wisps. Will we see an APIP rush? There's a wisp over here as well. Is he still tier one? No, he's going to three of ages. He's making more huntresses. So maybe he's just gonna do some APIP harass. You don't you can't probably kill the rush. Because it's probably not intended to win. Do we even see it? I don't see it just yet. The wisp's still ha hanging in the trees over there. Tier 2. There's a Shadow Hunter. No tier 2 buildings yet. There's a bestiary. Probably somewhere over here. Maybe a second uh, building. Uh, fly. I assume it's going to build a second. Uh, no, a Spirit Lodge. If it was Focus, we might see a second bestiary. But we're not watching Focus. This bestiary does get cancelled. And uh, Demon Hunter will have to TP here. Or die. It's his own choice. This Spirit Lodge. And do we, do we have a TP? There's a TP. We have a second hero out this here, here as well. Beastmaster. The AP APs are coming up. Those are three APs though. So maybe he's, uh, he's just getting Nature's Blessing. Maybe this is all in. He's not getting tier 2. Three APs. That's a lot. The Grunt scouts for it. Sees it. But is he too late? Playmaster running over. He has a speed scroll. He could have used a speed scroll. Get our ASAP. Not sure if that was worth it. Oh, beautiful block there with the Wisp. On the Shadow Hunter. Oh, and we have uh, little snakies. Snakes! Snakes! Beastmaster blocking the Blade Master, but probably just by accident, not really on purpose. There goes a snake. Uh, one uh, Ace of APIP does go up, one Grunt goes down. This doesn't look very good here for Fly. Why? I, mean, I guess he uh, didn't have much of a choice, but I was wondering why was he fighting there? Lost two Grunts, he killed one APIP, but three Grunts, in fact. It's because I can't count, that's why I said two, but now that I try to count one more time, I can count one, two, three grunts. Uh, this snakey is going down, maybe, and then maybe not, because he's first killing this grunt. But that donate there, maybe on the blade master, or, or can he surround the blade master? No, no, okay. Uh, yes, yes, no. Oh, those were, <laughs> those were some shitty surrounds. At the, uh, I mean... I'm sure uh, it's Fly that moved uh, just expertly, denying the strands there by uh, by Moon. And Moon again trying to strand the Blade Master, while the Demon Hunter is just dealing with the Shadow Hunter by himself. But these Serpent Wars are killing all the AP APs. Maybe instead of trying to surround the Blade Master, he should have been killing these Serpent Wars. Uh, this AP AP might be cancelled here or might die even. Like he has a Serpent Ward and a Blade Master attacking it. It does go up 139 HP. This AP AP is gonna sit down somewhere with a uh, war mill going up. I wonder if he lost too many AP APs to still uh, be successful over here. Let's see what's the supply. 34 against 40. Moon has a supply advantage, but why is the tech advantage? And also the hero level advantage. Because they have level 2 against level 1. Meanwhile, we have Runtuses against Grunts. Uh, the Raider is out with Ensnare. These Serpent Wards are going to fall slowly. And one, we only have one AP AP up. And no tier 2 here for Moon. Like a one Demolisher. One Demolisher would be enough. He just needs one. Does he have the supply? Oh, Fly does not have the supply. Doesn't have the gold either, but... Maybe you just cancel. Actually, it does have the gold. This one AP, uh, the one demolisher can kill all the huntresses in one shot. Can kill all the APs in the second shot. Everything will die to one demolisher. Right. And I feel like uh, Moon. If he's gonna lose this game, it's because he missed all the surrounds on the blade master. Of course, it isn't that easy to get a surround on a, a blade master that's being microed. Uh, but if he didn't go for the Blade Master instead, saved his AP APs from the Serpent Wards, he would have more than one AP AP here, maybe two or three. Uh, this AP AP is just going down to the Raiders. I guess he doesn't even need the Demolishers. He does get one. I, uh, I fear for Moon here. I don't think this is gonna work. I mean, we've seen human uh, towers. Not win against Fly. This is even worse. This is Demolisher. We see, we see uh, Huntresses instead of Defended Footman. This is way worse against the Serpent Wars, against the Burrows, against the Demolishers, against the Raiders, against everything really. You rather just have uh, Go Hunters go down. Defended. Okay, but we have three IPIPs. 
pretty uh, offensively placed. Needs them over here. This tower probably needs to be killed at some point. The demon out there being a snared. Wow, one more hunter is very low hit points. Uh, one grunt also pretty low, but these hunters are so low. They die so fast against everything here. So against the serpent wards, against the burrow, against the demolisher. One grunt does go down. I wonder if he killed it himself. The jar is almost level three. Uh, one AP AP goes down. This AP AP will probably go down. We have also level two shadow hunter now with healing wave and serpent wards. There goes that AP AP. Does he have a uh, pillage? No pillage. These raiders will fall though. At least one of them. Uh, Beastmaster, maybe do do we have mana? No, we don't even have hacks. But yes, he does fall, and this this has to be GG, right? Well, Moon still has five supply advantage, but but he I don't well. Let's see. He, he maybe he can pull himself back. Try uh try to go for Ancient of Lore maybe or there's an Ancient of Lore. I mean, but he has to play gold like to come back in this game. He's uh, yeah, he's six supply behind right now, and you know hunters are just so useless at this point. Against the serpent wards, against the uh, Tojara level three. We have a tower in the base here as well. Losing so much time and even lost AP APs to the serpent wards. Yeah, that's pretty much why he lost. Without tier 2, he can't get the Beastmaster. True. I also know he couldn't get Nature's Blessing without tier 2. AP, AP. Well, um, the game is still on. Moon is 14 supply behind and he's still not... It's his Ancient of Lords is still not up. Finally, one Ancient of Lord comes up. He's also getting Ancient of Wonders. He's getting Dryads, of course, but yeah, Dryads have the same weaknesses as uh, as Huntresses. They die to the level 2 Serpent Wards. No, level 1 Serpent Wards, he has level 2 Healing Wave. And uh, and the Demolisher, and the Raiders, and everything. If, if Moon wins this game, and I'm going to be so surprised. There's a nice and snare. Uh, we have a Serpent Ward killing... Oh, not killing the Hunters. Why is the Serpent Ward killing the Ace of Lore? No, it's killing the Demon Hunter. It does zero damage against the Demon Hunter. Could have killed that Hunters a bit faster, but whatever. Both Hunters die. The Kota eats the uh, Hunters as well. The Molitor is killing uh, maybe the Dryad or... Uh, what is he attacking? A bit of Miss Micro here by Fly. I guess he's not used to uh, Micro and Demolishers because normally you don't have a Demolisher in your army. Uh, this uh, shop thing goes down. The uh, Blade Master is in a little bit of danger. Does he have mana for healing wave? No, but he does have a healing scroll. And there's a healing wave. Beautiful healing wave. The Blade Master still has the uh, invul potion. If he loses the Blade Master, that could be a way for uh, Moon to get back in this game. But even if he kills the Blade Master, I feel like he's not going to win. But we'll see. Maybe we'll see. Uh, we'll get a chance to see it. No, the Demon Hunter is going to die instead. And that's going to be GG, I feel. Uh, Blade, maybe waiting for the Beast Master to die. There, he died to the Monster, in fact. GG. We do have a fight here. Demon Hunter, very low. He used the Info Potion. We have some fake uh, fake Naga here and a, and a real Naga with the uh, Info Potion. Another real Naga over here. The, the Lich is very low. Demon Hunter, very low. Demon Hunter TPs out. The Lich uses, uh, I think he got a coil. And uh, what else do we have? Do we have an expansion? No expansion here for check. We have uh, 44 against 46 supply. This is the best of three. Let's see if someone answered me yet. No one. Um, someone say something already earlier in the chat. Oh, someone already said earlier it was one to one. Okay, Fuma told me in fact. So I guess this is the third game. Then it's one one. Also, because uh, either way you're, you're sad because Moon lost, but you can also always oh, wait, wait, Demon out there. Oh, very close. Uh, when he wins the next game, you can be extra happy because it was even more close. It was even more tense. 
right? Because after someone like a hero always first loses and then he wins like the second time, right? That's Moon. I'm gonna win the next game. Uh, the bear here falling. The Naga here uh, in danger. Doesn't have anything to save the Naga besides the Zeppelin that he just bought. Uh, this is looking now bad, pretty bad here for Czech unless he can kill this Death Knight. Uh, that he does kill the Death Knight. The Zeppelin was too far away. He needed the Death Knight. Without killing the Death Knight, I definitely think WC would have won this game. But now, look, even without the Death Knight, he's pushing back. He's pushing back Czech. Now it, uh, it's looking pretty good for Czech. The Death Knight, of course, is so important to the to the undead army. Not only Anoli Aura, it's also Death Coil. It's also just uh, just the morale of the undead army just goes drops so far, so far, so much after losing their uh, their hero, their commander. All all of their units are now scattered across the map. Without command. You know, check is creeping. This death uh, demon hunter has two rings of protection, so he doesn't die very fast. Has a healing potion, so he doesn't die very fast. Has flute of accuracy, so his entire army does more damage, including the demon hunter against air units. And Naga, plus six intelligence, that's nice. Potion of healing, that's nice. Boots of speed, that's nice. What do we have here on the other side? We have uh, a Lich with a lot or a little bit of a lot of damage, plus 11 damage. Eh. Naga, Ring of Protection. Death Knight, okay. What is this? A Moonwell? This is a Tree of Life. A player's forces are These are two destroyers. Okay, beautiful game where we'll see some creeping. Great. So we have a shop. We do have a shop. I guess I could have known he had the shop because he had staffs, he has orbs, has the info potion. Are there any creeps left on this map? Well, yeah, these creeps. Naga. Maybe he should solo creep the Naga for level four. The Naga. He doesn't. So I. Well, this might still barely make him level four. Nine on the four, okay, that's nice. Oh, the top manual of health. Okay, he doesn't want to eat his vegetables. Doesn't want to read a book about like eat your eat vegetables every afternoon. Chew on them twenty one times. Neither demon under nor the naga cares about vegetables. All right here is a fight. Sixty four supply for WZ, fifty six for a check. The destroyers doing some nice, cute little attacks there on the demon hunter, doing like no damage to a thirteen armor demon hunter. But uh, one attack of the Lich nullifies the use of the effect of two or two rings of protection. That banner burner was pretty cute there. The Naga, the expansion by the way is up but not mining just yet. No uh, wisp in the gold mine, actually the entangled gold mine not up yet. A bears, we have abominations, we have uh, four lightning there. This, this bear over here is, is focused, can he stop him out? He does have a stop, there's a stop. But now stop is a cooldown, but the Demon Hunter has the Info Potion and the Healing Potion and two Rings of Protection. But he does go for Demon Hunter, use the Healing Potion. There's a Mana Burn, beautiful Mana Burn there on the Death Knight, but he still has plenty more mana. Use a Coil there on this uh, Abomination. Two bears still alive, because the Destroyers, I think they were focusing the Demon Hunter maybe. They should have been killing the... Oh no, never mind, that Demon Hunter dies, that's great. And uh, this is great for WFC. Now this expansion will fall for sure. Can defend it without Demon Hunter, he has to go back to the center with this Dryad and rebuy the Demon Hunter, but Demon Hunter will be long hit points, he needs a regeneration. Does have mana on some bears uh, for regeneration, not sure why he isn't putting this one in human form already and moving it over, but his uh, tree is dead. Actually, okay, maybe he is still... Uh, he probably does have the mana for the Demon Hunter, what level Demon Hunter was it? Wait, where is the Demon Hunter? But we don't see, of course, we're not at his view. Let's put it on check view. There it is. Uh, level 4 is... Uh, try it. I was just checking how much it is. Level 4 is more than 510. Level 3 is 510, I believe. 
we looked at the diagram the other day, but I didn't, <laughs> didn't uh, try to remember all the values there. So no Demon Hunter, the expansion is down. What is he doing? Not, oh, is he under 50 or something? No, it's 54. Oh, he doesn't have supply. What am I saying? He lost a moon, uh, the tree of life, of course. And that supply, uh, st uh, that ma made him supply stuck. He didn't get the money before losing the tree of life. And it was 595 for the level four. Under 40 lumber. He has plenty of lumber. But now he's being attacked. If this moon wall goes down. No, the moon wall, uh, the moon wall is up already. So you can buy the demon hunter. The drives, by the way, are 0-0. Zero, zero. The fiends are 0-0 zero, zero as well. And so are the abominations. By the way, no uh, disease cloud. Not worth it. But here's a fight. The five bears with three destroyers. And the, the death knight here all the way in the back. The fiend could be my god. There's a nice coil on this abomination. One bear goes down. Yeah, I don't uh, think WFZ wants to fight here near the moon. Well, the moon walls are empty. But uh, it still looks like uh, Czech is doing just fine here. He kills one more abomination. Czech is 52. WFZ is 60. So you would think WFZ would have the advantage. But we don't have false worms. And a 17 mana mana burn. That was a bad mana burn on the statue. But you just usually assume the statues probably have mana. I guess he already mana burned the statue a bunch of times. There's a mana burn on the Death Knight. 43 is a bit better. It's still not uh, really what you want, but the Demon Hunter has to be stopped out. This Abomination dies. The Naga, by the way, in a pretty bad position, but she has an Info Potion. Please focus the bears with the destroyers. There goes one uh, feed. 53 against 48. I guess uh, it's still advanced here for WFC, but he's out of mana on the Death Knight. So he cannot... Uh, do too much here. Same for the list, same for uh, the Naga has to use the info potion. Uh WZ has to go back home and just mana up, get back to a decent amount of mana before he really can fight. So check uh, this fight is definitely good for check at this point. But WC listen to me. He's like, yeah, Chuck was right, I need more mana. Heal back up. But fighting in the dead base, I'm not sure if that's gonna go well for check. Uh Demon Hunter can be stopped out of course. Probably gonna stop, but now the Naga in a bit of bad position. Okay, oh, that's got a false arrow off, but the Naga does have to boot, so I guess he's safe. This bear, bear, however, not very safe. Yeah, I feel like Jack pushed in a bit too far there and lost his bear for free. Shouldn't have given him that bear. Shouldn't have moved in here. Should have stopped somewhere around here. We have uh, 63 for WFC, 48 here for Jack. But these heroes, how much mana? Death Knight has one coil. Lich has... This is not Lich. Naga has two, four lightnings. And the uh, Lich has two false Novas, maybe three soon. But of course, mana burn. Mana burn is level two. But if we get two mana burns. I think he's probably gonna mana burn the Death Knight. Death Knight will get one coil and then he gets mana burned or the other way around. And a second mana burn probably on the Lich. Who still then has two false Novas. Maybe he can get a third mana burn somewhere. On the on the Naga because she already has mana for a third fork lightning. But not if she gets mana burn once as well. There it starts with mana burn on the Death Knight. He got the coil off. 97 mana burn this Lich. Naga. Naga I mean use the info potion. The bears being focused is statue uh, tanking that damage, but doesn't commit to killing it. Uh, well, two bears down, the third bear here. Last bear, third and far, uh, final bear is going to be f not focused. Demon Hunter takes the hits instead. Naga buys the invis, but she gets for lightning and she died. But I don't think it's going to be enough here for check because even without the Naga, his, uh, he has to stop a Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter use the healing potion. Oh, it stop us on a cooldown. GG. And WZ. Will play against Moon, I believe. Well, check is uh, I'm still in the game. It's 1 0 on the drives, but check's gonna lose this game. And he's gonna be out for the first qualifier, GCS. Of course, he still has plenty of chances. I forgot, did he qualify for the qualifier? I don't think he was in GCS, right? Or was he in GCS somewhere? I wanna check this out. Do you have uh. I need to keep commentating this game. I think this game is over. So since this game is over, I'm curious. 
I'm curious if uh, Jack was in summer or if he qualified for it. I've got. No, he qualified. He qualified. He definitely qualified. I remember right now. So. Didn't make it through the qualifiers last time. And this time. Again, he, uh, he was pretty close. Even if he would beat WFC here. He would have to win against Moon later to qualify. So I guess it's not that close yet. Not that close to qualifying for GCS. Here we have a Tree of Eternity here. With uh, Nature's Blessings. Maybe he has to wait. He should wait probably. Wait, don't move just yet. Yes, beautiful check. Beautiful play there. Okay, he moved to, Actually, maybe he wasn't even planning to move just yet in the first place. He was just moving in over here to protect the altar. Protect the Demon Hunter. Maybe if he can't get the Demon Hunter out, he still has one chance. Even though he stands by behind. It's, uh... WC cannot... Well, he's killing this moon well. Maybe drink this moon juice. I don't think he drank the moon juice before, uh... It went down. He's very in trouble, but maybe he can drink that moon juice. He gets staffed out. Over here, we have uh, some moon juice over here as well. Demon Hunter is out. Okay. Demon Hunter is gonna be out here in a second. In a microsecond. There he is. Do we have still a chance here for Jack? 45 against 58. Well, if he's fighting near the Moogles, maybe. This Fiend goes go down. These abominations very low on health. The Demon Hunter has to TP out. One abomination dies. The second one. Two hit points. 12 hit points now. Two hit points. Okay, it does fall. Maybe I call this game a bit too early, like I sometimes do. Oh. Life won. Nice life. Qualifying for GCS again. I knew life would be the first to qualify together with uh, Fly, right? Yeah, together with Fly. Even though they both didn't uh, do very well in GCS. They both got top 8, I believe. They, bo they both got 7-8th seven, eight, seven, eight place. Life, uh, Fly first losing in the group stage against Life and then lost uh, against Infi and Shishi to go uh, out. Life, of course, got first place in the group and then he lost to 120 after that to TH. So this time he beat TH to qualify. Game, I guess it's still not over yet. 49 against 42. What? I, well, if he can mana up again, he needs to mana up. He needs more mana. He has an inverse potion there on the Lich. He has plenty of mana on the Lich. He has a uh, decent amount of mana on the Naga, but the Death Knight could definitely use some more mana. Oh, it gives a pendant to the Death Knight that reduces his overall mana, but uh, it does mean he has a bit more mana for coil, less for for. Fosnova, but he had plenty of mana for Fosnova anyway. There's uh, this Demon Hunter survives with the uh, Acolytes and the Ghoul. They, I feel they're a little bit wasted there, but they do all die to do it. They picked up before lightning. The Naga now being focused. He, does, he cannot save the Naga. Naga is going down. Now we have a level 5 D Blade Master. Uh, not Blade Master. Death Knight. Is he going to hunt down this Demon Hunter or is he going to kill these bears? These bears, we still have two destroyers. I think uh, a few undead units died there, besides those ghouls and acolytes. Uh, one fiend. I'm not sure if a destroyer went down as well. The Naga being focused. Okay, he does have an info potion and an invis potion he could give to the Naga. But he's not trying to. He's just going to save the Naga by killing everything that's trying to kill the Naga. But that's not going to work. The Naga will fall here. And this bear is dead as well. This dryad dies. We still have three dryads and the demon hunter. But the demon hunter cannot do anything by himself. There's no more moon juice. There's no more bears. Demon Hunter for way too low hit points, he, he would die to one coil. Not literally, but figuratively on the inside. And almost literally. Level 3 coil, of course, is 210 damage against the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter has uh, 310 hit points, so. Oh, we do have one bear, but it doesn't have mana. Just one more Acolyte. That's my favorite way to save my heroes as well. <laughs> But it didn't work out this time. Oh, by the way, we've seen a lot of uh, unsummoning over here. So maybe uh, base race. Nah, it's not going to work, right? Uh, 120 can just kill. Oh, 120 is not in this game. But WC can just kill this Tree of Eternity. And then probably still be in time to save his base and kill these heroes. Easy peasy. He's first going to kill this bear. Uh, hi, Moonstruck. Welcome back, of course. The stream. Oh, there he goes. There's that one coil, and now he's dead on the inside. He's still alive here on the outside, but he's 
Look at that block there. Look at that block. And there he goes to the Foss Nova. Focus here in the yellow on the top right. And Moon here in the purple on the top left. I mean, there, there's only two spawning positions. Uh, so the top and bottom. There's no top and bottom. There's just left and right. But there's something interesting. And those are these colors. Purple and yellow. I think these two colors fit very well together. Very nice colors. I went to a pet shop to buy a cat post. And I ended up almost buying a snakey. 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 Well, the problem with buying a snakey is that uh, you have to feed them like mice and other other animals, piggies. You have to buy a piggy just to feed them to your snake. Such a such a cruel thing to do. Oh, is he going for the same creep camp? Moon is going for the same creep camp here again. Worked against focus, uh, like worked worked against fly. Might as well do it against focus as well. Although he did lose that map. So one of the big disadvantages of creeping this like this is that you don't really, at least that's what we saw against Fly, after creeping this, you don't really have the opportunity to ag aggro these uh, creeps. So the Blade Master can just get a level 5 creep for free, which is really bad. So maybe, maybe he learned from last game against Fly, maybe after creeping this, kills that uh, little kobold. Uh oh, Sin Dweller. After ke creeping this, maybe he will aggro these creeps before he starts creeping this. I'm not sure if you watched the replay there, but uh, that's a nice ring of protection shitty item. <coughs> Meow! And uh, thanks for hosting me for up to 78 or for 78 viewers. There's a circuit here on the Blade Master, and he's going for this. Oh, that's a nice item, by the way. The best, not the best, he wanted more damage, but he's going for this ogre. Is he gonna buy some items? Maybe a clause of attack plus nine. <laughs> wow, he knows exactly, he knows exactly what Moon crept by seeing this item here in the shop. And as I was saying earlier, this item will go to the Blade Master for free when Moon creeps at the uh, left mercenary camp over here. It's just it's just too difficult to uh, protect this item at the same time. He did buy the Claws of Tech plus Dine, by the way. Did sell the whatever item he got. The Demon Hunter here. Not the circlet. That's good for the Demon Hunter. Pretty good. Yeah, I can't kill animals to feed them dead animals. Demon Hunter here against the Grunt. Okay, one attack. Does he gonna, is he going to buy Berserker again? Last time against Fly, he bought the Berserker and it died to the Blade Master and the Grunt. Are we going to see the same, th same thing? This time we have Mogul the Sly though. And Mogul the Sly, he doesn't have Dust. He doesn't have... Dust. Yeah, he does. oh, okay, so he buys the Berserker himself. So at least Moon didn't buy it and, and lost the Berserker. But he does buy the Boots. Maybe he can hunt down the Berserker. With that, uh, he still has a circle. Oh, there's Moonwell in danger! For the Moonwell. Last time he lost his Moonwell against Fly, but this time this Moonwell is going to be cancelled. Maybe, maybe not. It goes up, but it's going to be killed. Well, the Demon Hunter is first killing this Berserker, but it's going to take too long. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. He's just sacrificing his Moonwell here. Don't well, the Archer blocking in the Grunt. No, the Archer is going to defend. Okay, the Demon Hunter gives up the Berserker. Instead, he goes for this Grunt. Berserker still has uh, plenty of hit points, 254. And the Demon Hunter hunting down that Grunt. The meanwhile, we have the Hunter's Hall hidden over here. Are we gonna see uh, Angel of Lords? The Grunt is scouting, but the Archer blocks the Grunt. The Grunt is dead. This Moonwell will not go down, I guess. Two, two Wisps is enough. This Grunt cannot kill any Wisps because we still have plenty of Moon Juice. This Grunt is dead. And now it's the Blade Master's turn to die. But Blade Master, does he see this Hunter's Hall? Yeah, he definitely did. So, um, well, there was a dust, but did he hit the Blade Master? He did hit the Blade Master. Moves out the Wisp. Safe position. Mana burned down the Blade Master. He cannot stay in the base there because, oh, well, well, he still has plenty of mana. Even if he gets Mana Burned one more time, he can still Wind Walk. There's a Mana Burn. There's a Wind Walk. And where's the Blade Master going? Uh, double Ace of Lore is coming up. Of course, he scouts this just to be sure. Although he saw the Hunter's Hall already, didn't see Huntresses. So, what, what else besides Ace of Lore? Blade Blademaster kills that Wisp. He's very sly indeed. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter creeping here with the Angel of War. He's gonna be level 3 against level uh, 1. 
But of course, Blade Master is going to be level 2 very soon. I'm not sure what he just killed over here. There. We have a Shadow Hunter as he should get. And we do see a second Spirit Lodge. No Bestiary. Maybe we'll get a second Bestiary later. I was uh, just talking about this earlier how Focus often plays dual Bestiary against Dryads. Not this game though. Maybe it's because it's uh, Echo Owls. Hey guys, hey, G, J, H, 5,112. Blade Master is going to kill his level 5 and it's going to buy another Berserker. So two Berserkers. Berserkers, of course, very good against Dryads. We're getting some rages. But here's the Demon Hunter. Level 3 Demon Hunter gets hexed. Shadow Hunter uses peaceful. Oh, so much mana on the Shadow Hunter. Mana Bird on the, on the Blade Master and he gets stunned. By these kobolds. By this one, by the Thunder. And there's a mana burn on the Shadow Hunter, but he still has plenty of mana. Two more hexes, easy. Or one more hex and a mana burn. A mana burn on this cow. Meanwhile, what is. Uh, does he have a second hero? Keeper. Yes, he's stuck. Nice position here by Moon. Nice ready point here by Moon. He has to uproot his uh, Ancient of Lore. He's gonna eat a tree and then sit back down. This does seem to be the case. Just to make sure no more units, no more heroes are gonna get stuck in the future. He has two drives out. Demon Hunter is creeping over here by himself. He's already level 3, but he still wants more XP. How greedy is that Demon Hunter? So greedy, he wants more and more and more. We finally finally have a level 2 to uh, Shadow Hunter. Healing Wave. No Serpent Wards this game. I mean, there were no drives in the first place. But... And there we see the second bestiary. Second Bestiary for Mass Raiders. Raiders is just so good against the Dryads. And Moon has to win every fight. Oh, he's getting Nature's Blessings! Nature's Blessing. This is gonna be maybe nice. Maybe. The Angel of War over here is. He yeah, tangles this uh, Raider if you can kill it. There's a nice uh, Mana Burn on the Shadow Hunter. There's a Dispel, but that's his last Dispel. No Spirit Link either. Uh, I'm not even sure if that was worth the uh, Dispel. Maybe he should have just spirit linked that raider. Just took the damage on the raider. Then at least after uh, that he would have four units spirit linked. Instead of having nothing. A wisp over here. A player's forces are under attack. What is this? Oh, we find some peons. What are these peons doing over here? One peon down, two peons. Oh, but what do we have over here? The dryad. The dryad is dead. But all the peons are dead as well. The Ancient of War is running for his life, but he has uh, the armor upgrade. Nature's Blessing. So he won't die, he won't fall. We have a TP. Oh, can he buy items before he loses his shop? What items does he need? I don't know, but he had plenty of time. Already has a staff of the Keeper. Didn't need any other items. This uh, Bond Ride can be Michael or not. She dies. The Bond Raider dying as well. Demon Hunter uh, still full health. This Raider is in trouble. He's dead. This raider is next, uh, or the, oh no, the berserker is next. By the way, whose sentry ward is it? It is, uh, focus is a sentry ward. One, one, uh, more, one berserker is down. There goes another dryad. But now we have double production of raiders, so a lot of raiders. And Demon Hunter is, needs to be staffed. Does he have staff? There's a staff. Drinks some mana juice and, uh, moon juice, or juice, because he's moon. So it's not moon juice, it's just juice. And, uh, or moon, moon's juice, whatever. We have, uh, Still three drives against three raiders. And there goes one more raider. Do we have more ensnares? No. Or entangles? No. The demon hunter is very low. Doesn't have a shop. He's rebuilding a shop. This raider will fall here. This peon are very low on hit points as well. The demon hunter as well. Demon hunter survives. The shop goes down. Demon hunter so low 17 hit points. But the shadow hunter just not doing enough damage. Still surviving four hit points. What a demon hunter. Keeper, however, is. Uh, well. Yeah, he's, he's surrounded. Demon Hunter, uh, Keeper is going down. Keeper, uh, Shadow Hunter is level 3. Doing pretty bad here for Moon. Still, his Ancient of Wonders is going up here in a second. One more dry is coming out. Oh, but I don't think he can buy any items before that Ancient of Wonders does go down. He does buy a Forest Soul Shadow Priest to heal back his Demon Hunter. Buys a Healing Potion. Okay, that's nice. Mana Burn there on the Shadow walker thing instead of uh, what do you go shadow hunter demon hunter goes down that's cg right this drive goes down that archer maybe oh well maybe maybe the ancient of ancient of war can fight this war and win this war by himself 
Where is that? Uh, no secondary heroes. Uh, no heroes be, uh, in this fight here for Moon and GG. Moon is so bad with Dryads. Well, he's, I, I'd say he's one of the better players with Dryads. But as I've been saying for so long now. Dryads, they just suck against Orc. I don't I don't understand why they some people still try them. Especially on a map like Echo Alls. There's no real, no real reason to go Dryads. Like, if you watch live, he even plays uh, Juice of the Talon on Twist and Meadows. Anyway, on the bottom left here, in the yellow, we have Focus with a Blade Master. On the top right here, in the blue, we have Moon with a Demon Hunter. What's he creeping this game? Okay, he's creeping this, normal creep, against uh, Fly. He kept this one first, but maybe it's because he's on the bottom position and you can build your Ancient of War there without it being killed. Maybe you cannot do the same here on the top position. Or maybe he knows focus watch the replay. Like, okay, I cannot do it again. He's probably gonna scout for it. Fights are only good on Amazonia. Okay. Demon Hunter picks a gloves of haste. He's killing these guys. Gloves of haste, pretty good item. Pretty good. And what's this grunt gonna scout for? It's gonna scout right over here, which is exactly where the Demon Hunter is going. Exactly how Focus wants to play this game. We only have two Momos up so far. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, also Gloves of Hazy on the Blade Master. Even better on the Blade Master than the De Demon Hunter. Grunt didn't see Night Elf to retreat it, but actually, Moon is creeping over here now. Moon, one, two, three, four. Gets a Wand of Illusion. Level two, Demon Hunter. Level two. One of illusion is is decent. Moon is too old. I don't think that's the case. Some of these other players are old as well. Focus is just as old as Moon. So is Fly. I don't think H has anything to do with it. The Blade Master here go for the level five ogre. Just kill it. A greater potion of healing. Nice. Mikasa, we have Mikasa here for focus. Over here we have Flame Seeker. Mikasa. So this TP of course has some uh, nice items. Potion of Greater Healing, by the way, is not the best item you could have gotten there, but it's a decent one. It is at least not a one of mana seeding. One zero for WFZ, okay. Okay, interesting. I mean, isn't going dry, it's old school. Um, is it? I don't know. I can't, I can't really say it. Feel, I feel like ever since Jews of the Talon became the standard, maybe dry has always been old school, but I mean, Jews of the Talon became like standard 11 years ago or so. Maybe uh, it's a point in time where Dryas has become the new hip thing again. But it's not that hip and not that new. Because it doesn't win you games. Anyway, nice mana burn there on the Blade Master for like uh, something. It wasn't 50. Blade Master, a demon of the Bice is tough. And oh, did he, what did he kill? I heard something die. Someone killed something. A little crit there somewhere. I don't know, but the Demon Hunter is in the base. Can he cancel something? No, there's nothing. There's no tier 2 up yet. But well, meanwhile, the Blade Master killing this Archer. We have an Ancient of War hiding over here. Oh, and he finds the Blade Master. The Archer going back home. Ooh, if he builds any tier 2 there in his base, it can be cancelled there by Mr. Blade Master. Uh, the Demon Hunter killing these peons now. Here come the Grunts. Probably, uh, it's probably safe to spark the TP home, staff home, soon. Because LC cannot build his own tier 2. On Ancient of Winds. Blade Master Mikasa killing Wisps! And one Wisp detonates, so she does so far, far from level 2. Soon it's uh, 10 more XP. Kills that Wisp. Can she kill this Wisp? Demon Hunter is back. Does he have mana? No mana. If he could have uh, maybe blocked in the Blade Master somehow. But I guess not. He ate so many mistakes, he got debated into mass towers against Meat Wagons. Well, that's just that matchup, and that versus human. It's uh, it's all about how much towers to build, build too little. 
and you get crushed by destroyers, build too many, you get crushed by the meat wagons, you need the exact right number. You are being restreamed by ESL underscore do work of three account boy. Never heard of it. Moon is creeping over here. Oh the blade master, can he cancel? Can he cancel one of these ancient of winds? This ancient of wind will go down here. Very fast. Well the second one is probably gonna go up safely. Retreating here of course with the demon hunter, with the beastmaster, with Maggie Bear Maul. Bear Maul. Uh, can he do something? Can he save his Angel of Wind? Actually, it's almost up, but it's almost dead. I don't think uh, it has to be cancelled. It has to be cancelled. There's a cancel. So only one Angel of Wind up. So far, so good here for focus. And there's a staff out with the uh, Blade Mash. Interesting, by the way, that he bought a staff there. I guess he saw the opportunity. He knew he needed the staff. He uses his speed scroll. He immediately goes back. Wants to cancel the second one again. And there's now an Angel of Wonders as, as well. Meanwhile, uh, Moon's creeping over here. Queen Tyler says it's the Balkan League. It's not the Balkan League. We're watching GCS. Uh, the Demon Hunter. Oh, Blade Master kills the level 5 Ogre with a uh, Book of the Dead. A piggy being summoned here by, uh, by Beastmaster. But the Beastmaster in trouble. He doesn't have staff. Maybe gives a TP or maybe Dower or Zeppelin. The Archer dies. The Blade Master dies. Beastmaster dies. Horrible here for Moon. And now the Ancient of Wonders dying against the Grunts and the Raider. Oh, it didn't even get cancelled. It was just killed. The Demon Hunter is dead. Well, he can stop out, but he has... No, there's Ensnare. The Demon Hunter is dead. This is GG. 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 82 critical strike. 92 critical strike. There's a stop out. Where's the Ensnare? There's the Ensnare. Okay. GG. Focus beats Moon. And Focus. Focus is going. Oh, Focus is going to GCS again. So is Fly, so is Life, and so is the winner of TH vs WVZ. None of the uh, people that went through the qualifiers. Does it say which one qualified? Doesn't. We can find out though. Check, check qualified, Chamiko qualified. Um. Colorful, Elegant, Cine, and Laliot, I think. Those were the qualifiers. None of them, none of them get very far. Check, uh, check's the only one that made it on a check and Laliot are the two from the qualifiers that made it to the top eight, but they both uh, went out immediately. So, Moon is out. Yeah, Moon is out. Moon will be back, of course, in the next qualifier. So if you're a Moon fan, you should be happy. We'll see Moon again.